Hello and welcome to this um, PHP tutorial. This is the third part of the functions um, tutorials. If you haven't watched the first and second part yet, I do suggest you go back. Um, if you don't know anything about functions at all, then go back to um, the first tutorial of this. Anyway, so let's just quickly go over um, um, you know, what we're going to do. Okay, so we've got functions and global uh, whoa there, global what uh, global variables. Excuse me. Um, that we're going to talk about. Now in the previous um, tutorial we talked about optional arguments and previous tutorial before that we talked about functions and how to build them. So now we're going to take it one step further or even two step further. Um, we've got the same um, form that we had before um, but this time what is your surname is going to be a global variable. Okay, And uh, it's still going to go from function.html to our functions.php Okay, so let's move over to. Right, nothing has changed with inside this page apart from the title and a little bit of text. Um, that's it. Okay, so let's come over to um, what we had before. We included the function.html. What is your first name? It is here. Your surname is here. And this is what we had before. Okay, and let's just get with this. Okay, so what we had was optional arguments. Now, what we're going to do is because we're not talking about optional arguments anymore, we're talking about let's do let's change this. I'm going to say glob var, okay, global variables, and then let's get rid of this because we'll write it out in a minute. Okay, so we can scrap all this as well. So we're going to have, and I'll tell you what, let's get rid of this as well. We we'll start from the beginning. Okay, so we've got function glob var and with our open brackets and our curly braces. Okay, and we've already got here first name and we've given it a value of post first name and surname, giving it the value of post surname. Well, what we're gonna do, basically, is we're going to say first name with inside of our uh, function is going to be a mandatory um, argument that we're gonna say. And if it doesn't have um, the first name with inside our variable, or with inside our function, it's going to display an error. Well, we don't do errors; we just do stuff that works first time. Okay, so, <coughs> so simply, we're going to echo "hello" and first name. Nothing more than that. And down here, we're going to call our um, our function and say first name. Nice and simple. So this variable here has got the value of first name and we're saying echo hello first name. Okay, so control is to save, come to here, one function.html, fill out David's, okay, and submit form. And there it goes, hello David, very, very simple, okay? And it, it's nothing more than that. Now, what about, well, we've got, if we fill out um, surname as well, so if we put, say, hello first name, surname as well, and we don't put anything else in here. Well, surname is up here and it's got a value with inside of our PHP page. So let's control S to save. And we fill out David, it's here, and we fill out Thorn. Okay, and press submit form. And see, undefined variable surname. Okay, so we, we've basically got an error now. That's because this function has said, well, I know what first name is, I know what hello is, but surname, what is that? I haven't got an idea. We've not got it as an argument, so it has absolutely no idea what the surname is. But this, uh, the, the surname variable is up here, so it's been initiated already. Okay, well, these anything that happens in here, any variables that we make are local to this function. So anything else on this page, it doesn't read any other variables on this page whatsoever. It only knows these variables that are with inside the arguments. Of, of this um, function. Okay, so now how do we read the variables with inside of our page that are outside of our function? Well, it's very, very simple actually. All we do is we say global. Okay, we don't need any pound signs, any dollar signs, anything. We just say global. And then what we say is surname. Now, if we wanted to add uh, more, we just need to separate them by um, a comma as simple as that and we can list out as many as we want on here for which um, variables we want to use. So now we've, we're saying well global means that there's a variable on this page called surname. Find it. 
and give me the value of it as well okay and then echo it out that's what we're doing so control is to save let's come back to function dot html and let's fill out David and Thorne press submit and there we go hello David Thorne so at no point did we ever insert with inside um, our function here anything so let's get rid of first name here now and get rid of first name in here so there are absolutely no um, arguments with inside our function okay so let's control this to save so now all we're doing is basically calling a function that's it we come back to function.html start again and once again fill out David and Thorne okay submit form hello David Thorne there we go so I hope you now grasp the idea of what a global variable is now what about if we basically um, changed whoops ay 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 changed the first name to John okay so we're saying echo hello first name surname here so it's going to echo whatever we put in inside the input field but then if we put a break after it and say um, first name equals to equals John okay it's done nothing else then underneath this we say echo first name okay so first name has been initiated up here of post first name surname post surname and then we've said okay use these global variables here with inside our function echo hello first name surname and a break and then we've said well first name now equals John okay so we've basically made a new uh, variable of first name but it's not a new one because it already exists because we've already got it globally with inside our function okay and now we're saying echo first name outside of our function so let's control this to save once again let's come back to function.html which would be the beginning and we're going to say David and then Thorn. so post, post first name is David post uh, surname is Thorn. first name equals David surname equals Thorn. we submit the form and now you can see hello David Thorn. and first name has now been changed to John but if we now remove if we now place these um, variables when hit here as arguments okay and then um, place this again with inside of our function so now they're basically both mandatory um, arguments that they've got to fill out and it's an echo that now first name equals John echo first name now let's try this and just to show you what the difference is between um, a global variable and a, um, a local variable okay so once again let's fill it out David and Thorne submit form we've got hello David Thorne David Thorne that's basically saying is first name equals John well as far as this is concerned first name is equal to David and that's it because these are this is local with inside of here it cannot change any other scope scope being here outside it can't do anything but do what's in here now we could say hit up here first name equals John so that's basically saying what right, first name is Dave or down here saying first name equals David now suddenly first name equals John so that's going to echo out first name now let's refresh this okay let's just so you not get confused by that let's just start from the beginning and do it again okay there was no errors there okay so we fill it out David and Thorne now we submit the form and it says hello John Thorne then echoes out David well that's simply because at the moment first name which is here is equal to David we put it inside of our function and said first name is equal to David here it went in and then first name was changed to John echo John Thorne here and then we said well echo first name well it looks up here and goes well first name's David so that's what I'm going to echo without using go global you cannot talk to 
variables with outside the function. You cannot change them outside of the function. You can change them within the function locally. So this is locally with inside the function. Unless you use global, you can't do anything. Okay. And the next tutorial is going to be about static function, uh, static uh, variables. Okay. I hope you understood this. Okay. If you don't, then watch it again. Okay, and try it yourself. And try, try, and try again until you do understand it. My name's David Thorne. I'm from www.thornwebdesign.de. Uh, please come to my website. Please subscribe. Send me any messages. I will answer every single message. If you've got any questions, stupid or so clever that I have to sit here for a day researching them, I will answer every single question for you. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this. I hope you're learning a lot. And I'm going to do a lot more so you can learn even more for free. Okay, thanks very much. Goodbye.